Hey everybody, it's Chef Charles Shen. I am super excited because I am here at the Tastemade Kitchen today and I'm gonna show you guys how to get saucy. Yes, that's right, I said get saucy. I'm gonna show you guys how to make different versions of a dairy-free sauce that you can add onto nachos, to zucchini pasta, and also a kale salad. So all these are super easy and I'm sure these ingredients are something you can find in your own pantry at home. I'm really excited to be at the Nourish page because I had my own struggle with weight, lost over 100 pounds, and I'm all about eating my guilty pleasures. So I wanna share with you guys how to integrate these sauces into your daily lives. So we're gonna start off with our dairy-free vegan cheese. I am so excited. All you need is a food processor, and I'm using an S-Blade right here. Uh, if you don't have a food processor, you can also use a blender. A high-speed blender works perfectly. All right, so let's start off with our ingredients. We're gonna be using some water, some nutritional yeast, and also some liquid aminos, which is like a gluten-free soy sauce, and some Dijon mustard, some roasted cashews, some cayenne pepper, and some yummy, delicious garlic. I love some garlic. I don't know if you guys do. Um, let me know in the comments below where you guys are watching from, by the way. Leave a comment below where you guys watching. We're in Santa Monica right now. So let's get started on this sauce. Very easy, we're gonna add in some water. So you can use spring water into the food processor. If you're just tuning in, we're making a vegan dairy-free nacho cheese sauce. So delicious. This is also paleo friendly and also gluten free. I am Chef Charles, so we're adding in some water in here. We're gonna also add in some roasted cashews. I love using roasted cashews because they're packed full of protein and they're so smoky and flavorful. You can also use uh, raw cashews, but I think roasted cashews have a lot more punch and flavor. So we're gonna add a little bit of this. And if you guys want the measurements and the whole recipe, look at the comments below. We're gonna post all the recipes below. And I wanna know from you guys, do you guys make your own sauces at home? And what kind of sauces do you guys make? All right, so we got some water, we got some roasted cashews. And this is so much fun because you're gonna kind of just play around with the different ingredients. If you wanted a thicker sauce, you can just add a little bit more nuts. And if you want it to be a little bit more liquidy, add more liquid. So super easy, you can't go wrong. All right, we're gonna add in some Dijon mustard. This brings out so much flavor. And also when you are trying to eat healthier, you wanna make sure you watch too much of your sodium intake. So anytime using like a Dijon mustard or vinegar, Fresh herbs really help you with lowering your sodium content. So we're gonna add in Dijon mustard. Mmm, who likes mustard? I love mustard. Leave a comment below, like this video if you like mustard. I love some mustard. All right, so for our special ingredient, we are using nutritional yeast. I love nutritional yeast. You guys may have heard of it. If you heard of it, leave a comment below. If you haven't, let me know if you wanna try it, it's so tasty. This is gonna make the sauce really nice and yellow, and it's also very high in B12. So this is not the active yeast that you use in baking, but this is so delicious. It makes your sauces super creamy and cheesy, and it's great for savory sauces. So we're gonna add this into our food processor. Again, we have some spring water, we have some roasted cashews, we have some Dijon mustard, and I'm adding now some nutritional yeast. You can find this at your local health food store or grocery store. Super 